started at an early age. <laughs> Shortly thereafter, he began working for the VPU. <laughs> he was very motivated and jumped right in. Randy began moving up through the ranks and soon started to develop his unique management style. <laughs> He also started to think outside the box. Uh, we've heard of the flooding that uh, people refer to the, the terminations, but uh, actually Randy had a vision. And that vision still lives today, and someday that vision may come to fruition. But he tried. He always was learning from his elders. and pass that knowledge on to anyone willing to listen or learn. Randy's talents were soon recognized and he was promoted through the ranks of the BPO. Next, he began attending many prestigious events in the Western New York area. <laughs> he was well respected by his peers. Wait a minute, stop there. Hey Dave. Uh-oh. Dave, see that tie. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> <laughs> and he was well respected by his peers for his utmost sincerity. In the coming years, Randy started making his visions come to reality. He had many successes, but soon realized there could be a problem. Despite his reservations, he moved forward and was finally rewarded for his efforts. <laughs> Being a true visionary, Randy always had a backup plan. <laughs> Despite the setbacks, the awards started rolling in, not only on a local level, but also on a state level. From New York's best tasting water, <laughs> to his creative management style, and yes, this is an actual award, and well deserved by Mr. Peterson. Um, for his innovative ideas, uh, thinking outside the box and giving uh, the rest of us uh, younger engineers the latitude to uh, have some fun and get the job done. His parents, I'm sure, are and should be very proud. Despite all the awards, Randy remained humble and always expressed his gratitude. Okay, no one got that joke. I'll just skip on to the next one. Over the years, Randy offered words of wisdom where it was needed. If anyone doesn't recognize that, is Larry Stevens. You're welcome. And he was never too proud to ask for help in the field. Keep going. <laughs> Randy's ability to stay on top of everything baffled many people. Despite his many business trips abroad and his thirst for learning new skills, he was always able to get the job done. I think someone in this picture is here this evening. Cindy. <laughs> yes. Oops. 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 <laughs> Oops. Oops. Keep going, please. <laughs> Randy believe, truly believed that he should get, it should give back to the community. I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. That's too bad. I know. We'll get it done a little earlier. He was always able to get the job done, by the way. No matter where he worked. He did believe that you should give back to the community for all of it, all that it has given to you. And he has helped out at many community functions and fundraisers throughout the years. Okay. <coughs> burgers. He always thought of others first <laughs> and himself last. He followed the example of many of his predecessors, and I believe three of the four stooges are here this evening. <laughs> and graciously gave his time for the betterment of the community. He did his best to serve all groups. Oops. Oops. Oh, where did that one come from? Sorry. <laughs> 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 and
and he never took credit. <laughs> he always gave credit where credit was due. Accidentally, the more important lessons that he learned make sure your clothes match do not say monopoly at a board meeting Dave I'm almost out of vacation time so and my strategic plan updates coming up if you want to plan a day off for me sometime in September please monopoly And he always offered his advice to people who desperately needed it. <laughs> he quickly gained the respect of his team. As you can hear Randy from Qatar. Right, Mark? Yes. Yes, Mark. Congratulations. Everyone loved him even though they found out they might have to work a little longer than they expected or Randy was going to be a little working a little longer than we expected. <laughs> but he always offered a little relief. He taught us well and always res and always stressed safety. Uh, proof positive by the 630 some odd days the wastewater treatment plant has gone without a lost time accident and other groups he taught us well stress the safety and he believed in leading by example <laughs> the sign is blurred and the truck is moving <laughs> ask number four yes, the day finally came to search for Randy's replacement. <laughs> I was sick of that song, I've been listening to it for two weeks. But only on break time, Dave. <laughs> Mr. Leathers canvassed the entire country, and although a it was a difficult task, the final decision was made. <laughs> In the end, the right man got the job, and after all these years, Randy, you're still receiving awards. That's the horse's ass award I believe he got. Many, many years of work. Like, I only works for the mayor. Randy always kept us on our toes, even Roseanne. <laughs> and doing what he, Randy, doing, doing what you do best, and having fun, but always getting the job done. We'll never forget your words of wisdom, and we'll miss your smiling face around the office. All together now, you have to help me with the next slide. These are our favorite terms we hear from Randy, and repeat them as you read them. Jesus Christ sake, so Friday. You're killing me, you're killing me. Mrs. Peterson, you might want to cover yours. I've got no ass left. I've been poking the bear again. Lucky. You understand what I'm saying? This award is given to Mr. Peterson for saying what needs to be said, honestly, for saying what needs to be said, probably when it shouldn't be said. So the first and only Brass Cajones Award.